Good sir, are you tired of these boring old dungeons that they're just the same no matter where you go? There's no variety. There's no spice of life. How would you like it if they were different dungeons based on what biome you are in? Then have we got the data pack for you. Hello guys, Gunplink here, and today in our data pack showcase, what do we have? Well, I bring to you a really, 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 really cool data pack. This one is awesome. I love anyone, uh, any data pack, that it, it changes the way vanilla feels, keeps it vanilla-like, but really just enhances the flavor. And that's like exactly what this one is does it is dungeons plus by techno dono and basically as you guys saw in the intro dungeons are boring they are just boxes in the ground there's a spawner in the middle there's one or two chests that's it uh and techno dono is has created this one to kind of make that a little bit spicier a little bit more tasteful uh so there are six new dungeons that you can find scattered uh in different biomes throughout the world and we're going to take a look at all of them. Not too closely because each one is a little bit different. Uh, now, old dungeons still still sometimes spawn. Now, they're hard-coded in the game, so it's not as easy to just eliminate them. Uh, but Technodono has done a little bit to mitigate how they spawn. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's just hop right in and take a look. There's obviously nothing back here. I just need to go find some dungeons in different biomes. And uh, then we'll take a look. The first dungeon that we're going to be looking at is the Moldy Dungeon. And this is, you know, it's a, like a standard zombie spawner. Um, it's nothing too fantastical, but it's a little bit different than your standard box. And... It's, it's much nicer looking. Now, the interesting thing about this is that the... Uh, oh, wow. That's that's amazing. Uh, the loot in here is completely vanilla. It does not change at all. So if you ever have any other data pack that modifies loot tables, this is going to follow along with those just like a normal dungeon would. So that's a very important thing. But yeah, this is really cool looking. Uh, really simple. Starting off simple. And uh, we're going to keep going and find some even better ones. The next dungeon is the Webbed Dungeon, and uh, if you can't guess what's going to spawn here, well, then you don't really understand the game at all. Uh, <laughs> so this is, of course, a spider spawner filled with a bunch of spider webs, and, of course, you're going to get some string from those. Uh, unfortunately, there was a little bit of water that, um, that uh, loaded in with this one, so, yeah, basically it spawned in an aquifer, which is kind of sad, but it's really cool. Uh, and as you can see, here we've got our regular chest. Uh, but yeah, this is, you know, very similar to a vanilla spawner. Oh, we got a gapple right there. Uh, but it does look nicer. It's got the webs around it. It's not just a square box once again. Uh, and, and trying to light this up and, you know, take this would be a lot, lot bigger of a challenge than a regular dungeon where you just go and plop down your one little torch and you're done so yeah this is really cool i like i like the look of this so much next up is the lush dungeon and uh i don't like this one <laughs> i don't like this one at all um so this this is gonna spawn under lush jungles and in lush caves and of course is going to be spawning cave spiders uh which is going to be a very similar look to the webbed dungeon but uh, obviously you're going to have to fight these little guys, which are going to be even more annoying because they fit through such small spaces. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. Really cool. Let's keep going. Now we come to a completely new type of dungeon. This is a deep water dungeon. One that will spawn down in the water in dripstone caves and in the depths of oceans. Uh, and this right here is a drowned spawner yes this this is a dungeon of the drowned and as always your loot ooh, got another <gasps> got another side oh my goodness gracious uh <laughs> and you know i didn't even realize till just a few days ago that you can get those not just in strongholds you can get them in dungeons um Morbid Curiosity actually found one on Lance's Anchor, which was pretty cool. Anyway, these guys will spawn here, and this is a really cool look. Now, obviously, this is going to be a much different than the regular webbed or the regular dungeons in general. But it uh, looks really, really awesome with the different, uh, you know, the polished granite here. And then 
obviously you got some prismarine blocks and dark prismarine but they do keep the moss cobblestone as normal with dungeons so this is really really cool uh it'd be interesting now that you could actually make a uh, a farm with these. You don't have to make, uh, you know, a big spawning area that they get caught in. It can just be from this thing. That's kind of a neat idea. Uh, but yeah, let's keep moving. The next dungeon is the coal dungeon, and this is going to spawn underneath taigas. And uh, as you can see, it looks quite different from the other ones. In fact, we've got some ladders over here, and it just kind of, it just kind of looks more foreboding. Uh, but let's climb up in it and uh, see what we got. Uh, we got some dripstone stuff that we would have to try to jump over. You can try entering it from another side. Uh, but it's going to be of a pain to take over because uh, this right here is a stray dungeon. If, if they're, they're, Oh, no, it's just oh, it's just regular skeletons. Okay, regular skeletons. I thought it would be strays. Um, we got skeleton spawner right here. So that is a way of getting bones and arrows. And oh, my goodness, they're really spawning a lot. Um... But yeah, they're gonna they're gonna keep this dungeon. They're gonna make it hard for you to take. So uh, this is really cool. This this is really really neat. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Now I understand why I got confused. This is the frozen dungeon. The other one was a cold dungeon. This is a frozen dungeon. Uh, also found around Tigas, but uh, has water in it. Uh, this is where you're gonna find the strays and. Uh, it, I just don't want to deal with this kind of a dungeon. It just sounds absolutely horrible. But uh, I like it. It's very, very neat. Uh, it looks very similar, of course, to the cold one. Uh, but, of course, you're going to find the strays here. So, yeah. Those are the six different dungeons. I did forget to mention that the web dungeon is found underneath uh, the roofed forest. So... Um, and possibly even regular for us, so it's pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a uh, really really cool. Uh, I wonder I wonder if Technodono is gonna add any more. I'm thinking like uh, if you got a husk dungeon underneath deserts and mesas, and uh, what other what other dungeons could they be? Suggest something down in the comments. That'd be really cool. See if you guys can come up with some more ideas to add to this data pack. But as is pretty cool to have these in your world. Uh, just a little bit different than your regular dungeon, uh, but totally, totally cool looking. I really, really like the way that this looks. And if you guys want to uh, play with this pack yourself, a link to the Planet Minecraft, Minecraft page will be down in the description. And if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, consider subscribing, turn on those notifications. You can follow me on Twitter. You can join my Discord channel. And I'll see you guys in the next Data Pack Showcase. Until next time.